It was a time of brutal discontent. The League of Intergalactic Overlords were engaged in an epic struggle against the hippie clans from just outside of Akron, Ohio. Barefoot, huggy, communal, patchouli wearing, all the drum circles, the worst on the continent. The entire galaxy had reached its limit. It was at this time that- Hey man, that's the wrong script. Sorry, my mistake. Just a bit drunk. It was a time of recent times, and this is a story as old as time. But these are current times. Modern day Louisiana, and not the Cajun southern part of the state that's been bastardized by Hollywood. These two bright-eyed go-getters were from the northern part of the state, which is home to an altogether different shitty accent. It's the difference between rednecks and coon asses. This is the type of place where most people like to fish, hunt, watch wrestling, cook meth, go mudding, and work on their tractors. But not these two. Lifelong friends and cousins, Darren Dukley and Bryce Junewood, have been operating their company, Chokehold Media, for two years now. After being shit canned from their news anchor careers at the local TV station, these two have the high hopes and dreams of the rest of the country citizens. But they're just better cooks. This story isn't a story of cooking. It's a story of loss, redemption, and triumph. A tale of how things can go terribly wrong. And what it takes to make things right again. Our two young hopefuls started out as cameramen sound engineers but were thrust into the limelight by a twisted strange turn of fate and then in an act of childish revenge they were out on their asses when the tv station was purchased by a douchebag named clint stone a long-standing childhood beef between the three seemed to have come full circle and now it was time for payback how's that dollface it wasn't very good, but it'll have to work. It's time to go to lunch.
Hello. Morning. Yeah, what's up, man? What are you doing? What am I doing? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Are right, you ready to head out? Yep. All right, meet me at the bar in about uh, 20 minutes or so. All right, see you at the bar, 20 minutes. All right.
it, roll it, baby, roll it, smoke it, baby, smoke it, roll it, baby, roll it, smoke it, baby, smoke it, roll it, baby, roll it, that's how we gonna get the job done. Roll it, baby, roll it, that's how we gonna get the job done. Go on, cuz. What happened to your face beard, man? Had an accident in the kitchen. I was beatboxing. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A little toy shopping on the way over. Uh, hit up one of those shitty estate sales on Park yesterday morning. Sweet. Sweet. Gotta make extra money somewhere, man. Those are cute. Aaron, when are you going to stop selling this fake shit online, man? Besides, man, it's not fake antiques. Shit is actually old. I don't know how old. I don't do research. I sell it on eBay. I call it vintage. And, I mean, if they know it's vintage, they know. If they don't, then they don't. But they still buy it. So, somebody out there somewhere is happy about spending their money. Mm -hmm. Whatever makes you feel better. You know what makes me feel better, Bryce? Money. Money makes me feel better. Something we don't have a whole lot of and we used to. So, well, fuck, man. You've got a fucking bullshit sad gig anyway. You write that restaurant review blog for that Dallas newspaper. It's not bullshit. It's legit. How? Well, for one, they pay me a hundred bucks a week. Dallas is five hours from here. But. It's five hours from here. But. You haven't been to any of the restaurants. But they put all the photos online and I've got all their menus. So betwixt the pictures and the menus, I can make a valid point in my blog, which people love. They love it because they think you've actually been to these restaurants and they love your almost always good reviews. The reviews are easy. I can find really good pictures online. I've got all their menus to look at. I can make the best analysis for the blog easily that way. It's still fake. Yeah. Either way, you know it's not fake. We need new clients. I'm tired of fucking selling crusty baby dolls for fucking extra money to fucking pay our bills. We need some new clients. Uh, sat down yesterday, drastically disappointingly, and looked through our books. We've made right at uh, right at a hundred grand, Bare, barely over. Sweet. <laughs> That's for two years. Yep. Two years ago, we got fired from the news station. How was your bus ride? That was beautiful, man. It's always a charm. It's always a charm. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, uh, do you think we should end today with a story about the fire at the goat farm? You want to do that or the 72 pound tomato at Old Man Branson's farm? Your choice, man. I'm good with either. So we save the tomato for last. Open with the goats. Open with the goats. Good call. We'll see, Sip. Maybe it's a new town on the other side of the building? Yes, sir. Let's go find out. Who the hell are you? Marcel. Where did 
trying to get to work, man. Oh, biggin. Fuck, man. Oh, 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 hold on there, Sasquatch. Don't point that Yeti sex toy at me. boys it has definitely been a long time what the fuck clint stone that's right you insignificant fuckers what the hell are you even doing here man you disappeared halfway through college what happened to your hair let's just settle down guys and settling for shit hey man easy you guys gave me hell all the way from middle school to college because my father was a mass luchador wrestler and your uncle was a wwf fake Ain't nothing fake about the WWF, man. Except maybe some of the tips. Except for everything. Your Uncle Dapper agreed to an exhibition match for charity. And then he took it too far. You two fuckers were sitting in the front row the whole time. He unmasked my father. And in the lucha world, that is a career-ending move. King Nasmo's career was over. And that's what happened to my family. The end of an era. I need you to be a little more specific, man. All we knew is one day your family just packed up, poof, y'all are gone. Out of the picture. Never heard from him again. Never cared much because we just didn't really give a shit. Well, luckily my father had unmasking insurance for half a million dollars. So we had to pack up and move to Paris, Texas. <laughs> Paris, Texas. Not even a real place. Went up there to raise goats. Turns out the land was just saturated in diamond dust. The meth of the computer industry. So to make a short story even shorter, I got a ton of fucking money now, and you guys don't mean shit. And that's why I got CSIP, bitches. Clint Stone International Productions. Check the door. International? We're in Louisiana, man. Oh, Where the shit. fuck did you get international from? I own a fucking taco restaurant in Canada. So Clint, how about you no, Go fuck. no, how about, I learned a whole lot about myself, and I know that I'm petty, and I love revenge. Yeah. So your guys are fucking fired. What the fuck, man? Like, escort fired forever? Them, escort them out of here. I've already found your replacements. Well, fuck are you this shit. serious, man? We'll teach you about revenge. So what now, Bryce? I don't know, Darren. I mean, we've been here for 10 plus years and never really thought about it. I hadn't really either, man. I thought this was career. Me too. Hey, did you happen to notice that fucking weasel wearing my arcade token necklace? The one I won from the championship for Gyrus in eighth grade? I didn't notice. Pretty sure I noticed. Fucker. Shit. My fucking microphone. Uncle Dapper's home beatbox school mic. Still sitting on my fucking desk. We gotta get that shit. Fuck Marcel, I'm going in. Let's go. Man, look, I need my fucking microphone. Fuck you, Marcel. No. That's our tally since then. That money is for me, for you, and for the camera girls. So we're fucking scrambling. I mean, people like the work we do, but we need, we need more work. Hey man, speaking of money, don't we have a check from Double Deuce Plumbers coming today? Yes, uh, I'm picking it up in a little while. It would have been two weeks ago, but they kept flip-flopping on what they wanted for that new slogan for the end of the commercial and they flash across. Still the fucking What about this? A cleaned pipe holds more shit since 1967. Or laying pipe and smelling right since 1967. I don't understand the 1967 part. It does sound better than the shit they came up with. 
no pun intended, mm. what's with the 1967? Kind of makes him sound more established, don't you think? It does, but they've been open for six months. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really play into that. <laughs> Did they come up with? I saw your email, but I didn't read it because I didn't want to. Uh, I think the final suggestion was um, when it won't go down, you've got to double down in brown pants. It's 67. So they went with the 67? No. I made that shit up. What the fuck's wrong with you, man? Uh, I still think they should put it in. Grab that phone, Jericho. Yeah. Devil Deuce Plumbing. Yes, hello, I need help. It's like a horror scene over here. Yes, ma'am. 152nd First Street. 152nd First Street will be right over. Please hurry. Well, Kenny, we got us an emergency at 152nd First Street. Come on, boy, we gotta go. All right. All right, we gotta go, boy. First. What you got in your hand? I got a pair of twos. <laughs> Me too. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Ma'am, where's your problem at? I'm Kenny. It's down the hall. Follow the smell. Hold on now, Kenny. All right. All right. Jericho, I'm a little worried. Jericho, this is crazy. There ain't nothing we can't handle, Kenny. Oh my goodness! Ma'am, I, I think we got everything. I'm gonna go pick up the check. I've gotta go by the bank, deal with them for a minute. And uh, I guess this is when we get governors a little before happy hour. All right. We gotta go meet Buddy McPuffins anyway. Teach. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, yeah. So Darren, remind me what we're doing here again. They opened up a private members only whiskey bar uh -huh. in the back room of the cigar shop. Okay. And he wants a new commercial for that, supposedly sometime next month. And asked us to come by and like have a look at the new little area and kind of feel it out. Alright. So that Let's get on it. All right, man. What's up, buddy? Hey, Morgan, what's, what's up, up, man? What's up, man? Not much. Boss man said y'all may be coming by today. Uh, he had to step out for a few minutes, but we got a new room right in the back. Y'all want to go back there and check it out? He left you a little uh, little special bottle back here. Oh, Break it in proper. It's over here, man. Yeah. Sweet. Is everyone back there going to be bothering? Or the... uh, it's pretty slow today, a little early. You know, there's one girl back there, but she's cool. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. All right. That way? That way. Right.
place that's awesome. Yeah, they did a really good job with it, man. It's very work with them. You know what this is? What is it? This is old Felcher, 25 year. I would say sweet, but I've never heard what that is. Taste it. It's really rare to see it these days. Mmm. It's enough. I'm driving. Well, they closed the plant down because they found a uh, what they deem an intolerable level of rat feces in some of the casks. But uh, it's really good stuff. Kind of smells like whiskey. I don't pick up much rat shit though. It kind of tastes like whiskey. A blood bath to keep Odin strong. Big storms are brewing in the heartland. So all I've been saying is that Danny Elfman is a fucking musical genius. He's pretty fucking creative. He's no prince. I don't know. I always considered Prince to be a shorter, caramel colored Danny Elfman. Minneapolis. That's fucking stupid. You should just shut the fuck up. They both got the funk, man. It's more stupid than the last one you just fucking said. Well, anyway, I don't think we could afford to get Denny Elfman to shoot our pet groomers commercial on our budget anyway. Hurts us out too. <laughs> Obviously. Well, how about we get that dude that shot the uh, Chicken Shack commercial jingle for us? I died for some of their chicken right about now. The Salmonella Drummond's Chicken Shack? Yes, that one. Wasn't that Benny Popper? Benny Popper fucking died, man. What? When? Last year. How? He was in one of those eating contests at the fair. I mean, they put anything they can in that fucking deep fryer. He was eating, I think it was fried butter sticks. <laughs> he had a heart attack. Oh, shit. On the spot. See, he's done. <sighs> oh, Bryce. Mm. Sam also threw in a little bonus for the commercial. Yeah. Three days a week uh -huh. for the next month, we get free lunch. We will be tits deep in chickeny shits, my friend. You know it. It's the fucking line. You know it. <laughs> I wish she knew it. I mean, I know it. I know it. It's only one of two fucking lines. Dude, she's in here taking a little shit break, so I'm gonna go in here and pop on this. Fucking shit. Here's the fucking rub. One more time. The words that need to come out of your mouth are, you know it. Just that. You know it. Not I know it. Not I know it. You said I know it 23 fucking times. It's, you know it. All right? You know it. You know it. Hold on a second, Renee. Dude, this is going to be take 24. I know. It's too She is fucking hammered, dude. We've been here since noon. It's gonna be dark by the time we leave. Fuck. Roll audio. Alright. Roll it. Alright, Renee. Take 24. Action. Baby, is that you home? You know it. What are we doing for dinner? We got chicken. Woo! It best be that salmon else. You know it is. Dude, are you willing to die for that last piece of chicken? Oh yeah, I'm willing to die for salmonellas. Want to die 
Definitely gonna be riding with you later. This time. Alright. Fuck, man, that does suck. Uh, so, who are we gonna get to do this? I don't know, man. What about that guy that did that shit for us? Hey, guys. Sheila Boltonberry. I thought I heard y'all back here. How are you? What's going on? Why are you doing a cigar shop? Oh, Clint wanted me to come and pick up some cigars. He's an ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's an ass. You know, we used to give the old bedrock stomp pretty good in high school. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. You know, if you had to turn out to be such an asshole, I might feel kind of bad about it. It does. Well, Lisa kept you at the TV station. You didn't shit can you like you did us. Yeah, well, I'm the only one that knows all the books and the vendors. So he doesn't want to train anyone else. I mean, Alice knew it, but she ran off to New Zealand with Becky 12 years ago. What's that douchebag up to now, anyways? He's still stealing candy from kids? Well, the station's doing great. And everyone loves pink and teal. I don't know why, because they smell like sex and bad intentions. They don't talk to me because I'm female and over 25, so they don't acknowledge me. Sounds about right. Oh, I, weirdest thing. I have seen something on his desk. He has a box, like a wooden box on his desk that he's been staring at like it has gold in it. It's the weirdest thing. I brought in the uh, checkbook the other day for him to sign off on a check and it, there was like a mic in it and uh, some other mic as in the mic that used to sit on my fucking desk my uncle's mic uncle dapper's mic yes i think so and there's some Son other shit bitch. in there sheila and this box did you happen to see a gold coin necklace yes I think so. And there was a cassette and a pen. And I don't know, there's a bunch of shit in there. Fuck well, her. Alright, guys, I need to get these cigars back to Clint. Back to work. Alright. Thanks for getting it Bye, y'all. Fucking do it, man. You gotta get that fucking box, man. My shit's in there, your shit's in there. Who knows what other stolen memories are hidden in his little fucking apparent treasure box of woe. Fuck that guy. Let me get that box there. First, we're gonna do happy hour at the pub. That's a better plan. In the heartland. Time today, I've seen sunshine and rain. Yep. Welcome to Louisiana, man. Let's go. We've been watching that show vocalize it for a while now. Singing contest. <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> you have better things to do? I don't know, man. I usually hate those shows, but I'm obsessed with it. I hate myself. You should hate yourself. I kind of hate myself now, to be perfectly honest. We've been hanging out in some chat rooms. <laughs> Thanks, man. I knew you'd get it. Anyway, though, I'm pretty sure those coaches got me banging the passes on those shits. I think it's 
pretty obvious. The same old sad hoax, the dreams exploited story over and over. Each and every one of them, every time. Maybe you should try out for that uh, show, Billy Daydreamer. <laughs> Actually, I sort of did. What? When the fuck did you do that? Uh, about two years ago when I went out of town for a couple of weeks. You told me you were going to the fucking uh, the Amish Wagon Wheel Academy to teach them film. How much kids don't have TVs, man? Oh, shit, they might be liberals. I don't know how they fucking live their lives. Fucking... You know what happened to me that week? You remember? What? You being gone stuck me doing the fucking Lenny's sex shop commercial by myself. <laughs> when I say stuck, I mean stuck to the fucking floor, man. Like, for real. Like, it's fucking sticky. I took three showers after I left that fucking sh place. It, man, I don't even... Oh, shit, I hate even thinking about it. Well, right, right. well, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, they didn't let me finish my song, man. I had the fucking gizong. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> what dumbass cover song did you sing anyway? Why? I wanna fucking know, man. You fucking made me deal with mini sex shop shit by myself. I should at least know what you did. Fucking Rainbow Connection by Paul fucking Williams. But I sing that shit like Luther Vandross. <laughs> That's a good choice, man. Yeah, thoughts. So. Hey, Darren. Yeah, man. That Lenny sex off commercial. It fucking sucked. Probably, but the difference between Lenny sex shop commercial and your vocalize it trial is mine made it to air on TV. No one ever saw you. Dream Crusher. Sometimes. Man. I'm feeling my moral compass point straight south right now. Whatever we do, man, got to get that box back from Stone's office. I just want to prove he's a weasel in sheep's clothing. Mm. Up top on that one, man. I don't high five. I just want to high five, dude. It's just mm. a simple fuck. What's up, fuckers? Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Trent? What's going on, man? Trent can do it. Good to see you. Yeah, man. How y'all been? Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Yeah, I heard you guys got canned, but I hadn't been around much since then. Uh, what's been up? Yeah, Clint fucking Stone. Shit canned us. Kicked us off the mountain, man. Things were perfect when he showed back up. Shit, man, I know. He's thrown a kink in my production as well. And that son of a bitch stole my stripper pin straight out of my briefcase in his office. He says he didn't even see it, but I know he has it. Hold on, Trenton. Are you talking about that same stripper pin that you had in high school? Very same one. <laughs> I must have replaced the ink cartridge in that thing like a hundred times, but I've never lost that pin. Shit, we'll keep an eye out for it. I'm confused. How, how does Clint Stone play into all this? I mean, what does he have to do with your production? You work for a major outfit in California. How does he come into play at all? Yeah, Trent, you put out two of those three bad, bad, bad boys with guns and knives movies. It's knives and guns. Well, whatever it's called, Miraversal all the time. I was just the director. Stone was supposed to back the pre-production of my next film. Hmm. Those movies must have given you some serious clout, man. It must be ass deep in titties right now. Yeah, but now that my name has that clout, I'm wanting to expand, go into a new line of action. 
times. Luckily for me, there's this exec over at Miraversal who loves my work, and they said I could start a solo project as long as I got the funding to start shooting his demo film next. The fuck is a demo film? Like test shots? Kind of. See, this exec, he likes all the major action scenes in a film to be pre-shot. That way he can kind of fill out the flow. He also wants some fully edited, cinema quality, color graded, including a soundtrack. So, you're saying you have to shoot the whole movie, let him watch it, and then reshoot the whole movie again? Exactly. Pretty much, man. These execs are really eccentric. I've learned to start taking them with a grain of salt. Wait, wait again, so, I'm still not following. How the fuck does Clint Stone play into this project at all? So look, so I ran into his cousin in more ways than one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Me too. She's out in LA now. We're pillow talking about my new screenplay. She says I should hit up Clint as a backer for my new film. So I do. But then he calls me today to tell me he just bought another new station. Apparently it's his new calling in life. Fuck that guy. Fucking bullshit. The only thing that guy needs to be calling is the lambs. Yeah, man. But anyways, do you guys still do film? You used to be really creative. Well, look, I leave tomorrow to start filming for three triple D three, but I still want to do my own project after that wraps. Now, since Stone pulled out, I only have about twenty grand or so for the budget. But would you guys want to do it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes, we do. Yeah. Fucking perfect, man. All right, look, I've got to run. I've got to go meet Linda. But tomorrow, uh, uh, I want you guys to meet me at my brother's house at 9 a.m. We'll bank out the details. All right, man. Up to that. Oh, yes. Thought you didn't do that, Vibes. For $20,000 up front, I would set fire to the fucking police station. Again. You shouldn't have given me that parking ticket. Oh, hey, shit, man, get a load of the freak show. Man. I don't want to look at those motherfuckers today. Yeah, fuck them. Let's go outside. Maybe you should look at the side. That's right, come over this way. You drive me crazy. Oh, oh, oh. That sweet aroma. Give me a boner. Make me a mourner. this. See you in the morning. New Orleans rain keeps pouring down. Man. 
sweat in my tears as they fall. Got good weed though. Damn, so many fucking parties here. It's weird coming out here with no people around. Yo, yo, guys, get in here and check this shit out. I got you guys two of those brand new yellow Phoenix cameras to shoot with. Sweet. Yeah, I bet your ass it is. I don't think those are on the market yet. Yeah, man. The initial batch was only sold to all the major movie studios. So, of course, I got six of them. And I only need four for the new Triple D 3 movie. Sweet. So these two are for you. Oh. Only the fucking best for my crew. Those are the bitches nuts, man. Bitchin'. The battery? Nah, man. That's the whole camera. You charge that bad boy up, and you'll have nine straight hours of 5.5K H triple D shooting. That's the shit, man. Yeah, you're telling me. You guys want some felchers? 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 Felch me up, man. A little early for me. But anyways, man, those little bad boys, they've got a GPS on them. Don't try to fucking remove it, though. If you do, the whole camera melts. And at 42 grand each, that's not something we want to mess around with. So uh, I suppose we're responsible for that if it breaks. God, yeah, you bet your ass you are. So what about the lenses? Man, they're all built in. There's no need for an external lens. You control all of your settings from an app including lens selection. Sweet, I don't have to lug around all those heavy lens cases. <laughs> Damn straight. Yeah. How they mount a tripod? Man, look, it's all magnetic. Easy peasy, just like that. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, dude, it's <laughs> worth every penny of that 42 grand. How about the fucking audio? Yeah, man, all controlled by the app. The app pretty much does everything for you. The only thing you guys really need to do, put up a couple of flashlights and frame up the shot. Now, the app can get a little complicated, right? So it has this really cool feature where you can speak into it, and if it understands what you're wanting it to do, it'll set all that shit up for you, and then it'll flash green to let you know that it's done. In the meantime, here's the script I want you guys working on. The scenes I want shot are highlighted. Okay. Thank you, Trenton. Yeah, no problem, man. Look, you guys used to do great work on short films in college. But then, I heard you guys had become news anchors. You were successful for so long, and I kind of figured that's where you wanted to be. That's why I hadn't hit you up until now. What happened, anyways? I thought you always wanted to work in film. She always had kind of saggy years, so she took a month off of uh, work. She went down to Paraguay to get an ear lift. No shit. Sure. Yeah. Which looks great, by the way. Becky and Alice were the anchors at the station when we started interning there. And, uh, Alice offered to do the books while Sheila was out of town because she used to be a uh, math major in college before she started. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, everything was all good. Then Sheila came back and it was business as usual. See, back then, the station did a lot of cash business because we're in Louisiana. That's fucking how it works. So, they had this whole plan, and they timed it to where the monthly revenue from all the commercial buyers was at its highest point. Then one Sunday, they went to the station, cleaned out the fucking safe, because she had the code, left her husband's notes, who were out just playing Sunday golf fucking note. Gone to New Zealand. See you later. <laughs> no way. Boom. Ghosted. Then they're gone wild. Well, sort of. I mean, you can 
see their whole wedding and everything they've been doing since on the old social media. Oh, hey, shit happens. And here we are now, it ready to make great fucking things. This is true. This is true. Who are the actors? I'm looking at them. We don't act. You guys did in college, and you were successful news anchors for well over 10 years. I think you're more than qualified. Plus, the script's not much in the way of dialogue anyways. You've definitely got this. I guess we'll have to. Damn straight. Uh, Trenton, there's a lot of action, fire, and guns, and cars, and shit like that in here. How are we supposed to pull all that off? Yeah, man, look. This exec doesn't really care if the special effects are actually in the shot, as long as it's insinuated that they're in the shot. I guess. How do we do that? Oh, shit, I just used cardboard and firecrackers when I was doing it for him. Hmm. Well, that's easy. I'm well supplied with things that go boom. <laughs> for sure, man. Well, look, boys, I've got to get ready to head to the airport. I'm going to wire you the money in a couple of days. But after that, you won't hear from me for a few months. But that should give you plenty of time to get this stuff done, all right? Thanks again, man. No problem, man. You guys got this. You for sure got this. At least I hope you do. I appreciate this opportunity. Hey, it's no problem, brother. Anything for my brother's friends. We need to change our life. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm glad to be able to help you. And you guys are helping me out. Fuck, if this works out, we're all going to make it big. Maybe I can finally get away from those three triple fucking B movies. They're still pretty fucking cool. Ah, yeah, but they're not my movies. That's some good gate right there. That was nice. So we got these two new cameras. We have an agenda. Mm -hmm. 20 grand coming in the next two or three days. Yes. I think we should celebrate tonight. This I think we big. should celebrate right now. Well, I can't right now. I got to go take care of a couple things, but I can meet you in a little while. All right. I'm going to get some weed then. All right. Wait. See you. Hey Bryce. What's up, cuz? He's having a little fight with the computer. Well, fucking shit. What's it doing? It's not. Cool. cool. Oh, oh! Last night. Uh -huh. Uh, whenever uh, we still at the pub and I uh, left to take a piss, I may have seen something. Yeah? I'm pretty sure I saw something too. Oh, yeah? yeah? I'm pretty sure I saw one of those ring girls taking a shit in the parking lot. Either that, or she was picking up rocks with her ass, dude. It's, something's happening. Cokeheads. That's what's happening. Cokeheads. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Pretty sure of it. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Extremely. What was that? Did you do some with her? No. You're in the bathroom a long time. <laughs> no, dude. Uh -huh. I wanted to tell you about it last night, but you were passed out. Oh, yeah. You shimmed your way into one of those ring girls, huh? Up top, dude. Well, no, I didn't do that, man. Hey. Whatever, dude. Why would I do that? To show up a little TKO card whenever she comes? I don't know if they fucking hold up cards when they're fucking due. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. What's so fucking important? Well, I may have taken a couple of pictures of the swinging jicks doing coke in the bathroom. All right. I also may have gotten those pictures dropped off at Clint Stone's office earlier today. Okay. And? Also a strong possibility I included a blackmail letter with it. What the fuck, man? He's still drunk? Probably. Well, shit, dude. Why didn't you just take the ring girl option? That was never an option. That's some scenario shit you made up for me. What the fuck, dear? Blackmail? 
Fucking Clint Stone. Ah. Yeah, why not, man? Alright. So am I supposed to be implicated in this little scenario of mites and babies? Definitely so. Fucking oh, shit. What did you ask him for? First, I want my fucking microphone back. Alright. And your championship coin necklace for fucking Gyrus. Now you're talking. Trent stripper pin. Yeah, they get that. You should have asked him for money. I don't want money. I want my shit. Now all we have to do, wait it out. Yeah. Uh, no, I shot two of those bastards. No shit! Man, it feels so liberating. I feel like a man. No, not out, no, not out in the wild. They set it up for you. Well, well, I'm sure your little deer camp is nice and fulfilling, but I don't want to sit up in a goddamn tree all day. <laughs> yeah. No, they're just, it's not like they're endangered. No, f <laughs> fuck you, Martin. Fuck ostriches, too. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll see you on Friday. Okay. <sighs> hey, Sheila, will you get me a coffee with, uh... With cream? No. Some, something Irish. With whiskey in it. None of that cream bullshit. Yes, Mr. Stone. Thank you, Sheila. This came for you downstairs. Thank you. Some kind of shitty to you, man. It's an open floor plan. There's nothing wrong with this place. Already. Yeah. I've sent a courier with a briefcase. I believe this will conclude our business, Dukely. We did it, man. We did. Yes, he said he's sending it over. <laughs> we might win for once. My god, this really is a shithole. <laughs> it's an open floor plan. You get? If by the guy you are referring to the extremely handsome courier that Stone sent, then yes. What you got? I have a delivery for you. A briefcase with the contents of your shitty treasures. Not my fucking microphone. This is my championship token. These are chocolates. Shitty chocolate. I win, you lose. That motherfucker. This fucking costume bitches played us, man. Yeah. Like a fairy plays a flute. Bullshit. Fucking dick. Ooh. Speaking of fairies, I have something for you. Pink and Teal figured you could use a little extra fairy dust. That was highly offensive.
Well, what do we do now? Start by killing that motherfucker. Fucking air and boil. Well, what do we do now, man? I don't know. Definitely lost my desire to go fucking celebrate. Shit stick. Yeah. A normal person would have just asked for money, but you two are still as dumb as ever. Go ahead and release those photos if you want. Nobody gives a shit. Hell, it might make the ratings go up. Amateurs. Well, what do you say? Should have asked for money? No. What did he say? He said we should have asked for money. Tough titties. I'm gonna go to the house and binge watch Alf. Alright, bud. So you won't. Find out. Hello. Is Teal with you? Teal? We got a dickhead here. Put me on speaker. Hmm. Alright, hold on. Jump on speaker. Alright. What's going on? Someone dropped off some photos of you two doing blow at the pub. No one gives a shit about that. I care about that. <laughs> as long as we're still <laughs> delivering the local news, that's all that fucking matters, man. <laughs> I've never been too juiced to read from a teleprompter, dude. Oh, me True. <laughs> Nobody really gives a shit in the end. All right. Just dial it back a notch okay. when you two dicks are in public. Will do, boss. You go live in one hour. Don't be late. Don't be late. Gotcha. We gotta find out who sent those photos in the fucking south of the border deep down. South of what fucking border? Oklahoma? We're from Texas. We're white. Texas white! Nobody knows that. Everybody fucking knows that. Nobody knows that. Everybody fucking knows it because the internet. You do bump? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh. Alright, we got an hour to kill before work. What do you want to do? Go get a drink. Let's go find the nearest bar. I like that one. Yeah, we've been sitting here for an hour. <laughs> uh, Let's fucking go. Uh, oh! <laughs> Wake up! Tomorrow, Hick and I will be live at the grand opening of the first ever Turtle Farm in North Louisiana. We're excited about it. Yeah, the turtles is the shit. So until then, I'm the Teal Typhoon. I'm the Peak Tornado. Good night, everybody. And as always, bringing you the news with a grain of salt. And a dash of pepper. Till tomorrow. Good night, everyone. We love you.
Harry, what's up, man? Shh. Get in here, man. You're so loud. I'm trying to figure out Clint's lunch schedule. That's fucking stupid. Didn't everybody go to lunch at lunchtime? No, not him, man. He's too articulate. You know he's gonna fucking come and go on a fucking dead set time. The fuck do you know where I was anyway? Still using your old phone. Let us track your new phone. You know you can sign out of my account. No. I like the music playlist you got here. Darren. Uh huh. What's with the spyglass? We can obviously tell Clint's coming out tonight. Also, you didn't bring any fucking towels to put over your head. You can see us. You're right. Just try to be still. So what I did, put some clear paint on the keypad. So whatever numbers he hits should leave a little bit of fingerprint sponge. And with this, I should be able to see close enough of his hand roughly where he goes on the keypad. So if I have that idea, and I can figure out which numbers he pressed, I can get the fucking code, we can get our shit back. There's that motherfucker right there. Sitting was all in the dead center of the pad. Should make it even easier. Yeah, I only got about a minute and a half before he reaches his office. I don't want him to see us out of the window. We get a picture. Do you really think we can break into the station? Nice, good save, bud. That would have made a mess. Yeah. yeah, I do. I absolutely think we can break into the station. I mean, we know the layout. So when? I figure. As soon as we finish shooting all the test footage for Trenton, okay. I think that'd be an ideal time. Well, let's see what we got. It's big. That's fucking disappointing. What's wrong? 
Looks like the only fucking number he hit is two. No other fingerprints anywhere on the whole fucking pad. Except that, the two. That makes sense, actually. How? Well, Stone's extremely OCD, if you remember from high school. Yeah? Yeah. He only can do anything in an odd number. So it's either going to be four twos or six twos. Yeah, that makes sense. Four twos or six twos, and it's in the middle. Yep. Dan, good job, Bryce. No CD. It's got to be it. All right, man. So we can do that celebrating now? We sure as fuck can. We deserve it. <laughs> right on! Yes! So my cousin called me yesterday and told me that he found an albino rattlesnake in his bag of lips. So what's your favorite drink? Ginger. I like club soda with salami and olives. Cool. Don't you think there should be a limit on how many wind chimes your neighbor can have? No. Did you hear about our cousin's albino rattlesnake? I heard something about it in this bar. Huh. He just got his license. How many yard them do you think is okay before she gets weird? Three. I've got a velvet back Hey, what's up, guys? Gar -gar. Gar -gar. What's, what's up, up man? man? <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Great show the other night, man. Oh, thanks, As always. Man. Thank you for coming out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whatever, whatever night. Dude, you, you were, were there. there. You're in the front row. I saw you dancing. You had a good time. Was that yesterday? Uh, yeah. I did have a good time. Get fucking wild this weekend. It's fucking awesome. Man. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later, man. I gotta get What, man? Cameras aren't charged. I've got the dock in here, though. It's gonna take them about two hours. Good. A little sluggish, anyway. Yeah, I'm letting Morgan know. Hola, Jamiroquois. Platanos! Please. How you doing, ladies? Well, got a little delay here, thanks to Captain Coordinated. Forgot to charge the uh, cameras again, so we got to kill two hours. It's kind of cloudy anyway, so fuck it. Dude, I'm hungover anyway. Can we get some food? Me gustan las tortugas. Yeah, the wine and sandwich shop's only like a block away. You can walk over there. What can we do in a side motion?
fame. What's that? I still do the thing, man. I still do the thing. You should do the thing. Oh, well, though. All right, I'm going to do the thing. How y'all doing? Yeah. Still got the shirt. Oh, still got the shirt. Still got the album. You hear it? Yeah, because y'all never dropped one. All right. Oh, God. It's oh, <laughs> tape for me. Hey, man, I'm sorry. We bro. almost. I was man. the biggest fan ever, bro. God rest my brother's soul. You're right. You're right. Oh, what kind of do we got? Sandwiches, man. Sandwiches? We got one of two choices. Okay. I don't know what they are. The menu's on the table. Fair enough. I appreciate it. Uh, front room open? Front room open, dining room open. Just find somewhere to sit down. I bring the menus in there. All right, thanks. All right. Who Who's brother is this? Steve. Steve. All right, nice jacket. It looked like it smelled. Is that you? I appreciate it. She white? Give her my number and give her your number too. Appreciate it. Hey, Hola. Yeah. Uh, I want two turkey sandwiches and a coffee. Yo tengo piedras en mi puerta. Sí. I'll take two coffees, neat. Okay. And one solitary ham sandwich with the bread to the side. Alright. I would like a flying tiger blonde and a hot chocolate. Alright, I'll have that right up. So what was that weird dog gang shit? Is he playing? Uh, yeah. Uh, Wendell, his older brother Lance, we were in a rap group with him back in college. Yep, it was back in 1995. We had a band called the Zoofang Clan. Sure enough. It's a six man rap group. We'd shopped our demo out to a couple of producers and labels. And uh, one guy I thought was pretty good. He was about to put a single yeah. out for us and put us on tour with the uh, Black Bang Boys. Oh. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Which one is this? Yeah. That one's really cool. Oh, he had two coffees. Yeah, that one goes across. Yeah, he got two because he's a yeah. fucking idiot. Chocolate, <laughs> beer. Yes, thank you. And the food you like. Good meal. Oh, yeah. So what happened to the van? Today's top story, four men from a local rap group called the Zufang Clan go missing in a bizarre fly fishing incident. The police are treating this investigation as an alien abduction. The two surviving members of the band will be here tonight to tell their side of the story. This exclusive and more on the 10 o'clock news tonight on Channel 42. Well, long story short, Bryce and I were in a six-man rap group. In the 90s when we were in college. It looked like it was heading somewhere, but uh, we all went on a fishing trip together to Arkansas. We were going to learn to fly fish, and none of us had ever done it before. It was nighttime, we were all tripping. Bryce and I left to go back to the van to get some more beer, and we came back down to the riverfront. And uh, saw a. I'm not really sure what the fuck I saw, but. Well, I know what we fucking saw. We, fo we saw a slickety ass fish man jump out of the fucking river and into a UFO and just zip up into the sky, dude. I don't know, dude. Well, I know what the fuck saw. Well, it ended what fucking could have been Z Bang Clan. After that, the label was like, oh, there's only two of you now. Four are gone. It's either six or nothing, so they didn't want us anymore. So, fucking done. I never heard of them. Just as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to run payout. Uh, Morgan should be meeting us down there in uh, maybe 15 minutes or so. so all right. All right. Take care of this shit.
appreciate it or whatever, man. But this gonna be the last time I let you pay for this shit with food stamps. My boss Dude, gonna... really? I mean, you know what we, we have to do, bro. I don't give a damn shit. I mean, shit you supposed to be like... You know what if we eat at you fuck from yesterday? Yeah, dude. dude. About that, man. About that, my like, man. Like, last time. No more food stamps. That's what you said the last time. Courtney! Hey, what's up, man? Dude, what's up? You still with audio at the station? Dude, I think it's... Yeah, I gotta get back, man. Just grabbing something real quick. So, uh, I'm... You might need that. I'm not sure what it is, but it's important. Dude, you don't want any of these. This is diabetes meds. And they kind of give you the shits. Diabetes medicine don't sound like that. Look at it. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, Cal? Three hey. hands, turkeys, um, and you all. What can I do with all that hands? Mm. Doesn't matter, man. All right, look, look, I had an idea. Yeah? Those give you the shits? <laughs> yeah. Look like it. I'll give you 50 bucks if you put four of them in those fucking luchador's coffees. Yeah, I uh, Shit, I need weed anyway, man. I gotta call Nine? a guy. Nine? Nine? Yeah? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Call my guy. Shh. Don't you owe me thirteen dollars? Get your ass. What, dude? Just go. Sit, sit. Now you got fifty dollars. Pay me. Make it happen. Don't worry about him. When do I got you? Right. I'm not the one that's gonna have to worry. Fuck making deal. I know they're assholes to you. Camera one ready? Los osos son divertidos y chistosos. Camera two ready? Rolling. All right, let's so take one.
<laughs> I'll never sell. <laughs> That's all right, man. Guess what? Ah! Oh! Go get it. take this footage and run on down to the office and start uh, the pre-edit on that. Alright man. I'm gonna get some weed. Alright. That one? Deuces. Yeah, listen, Marty, hold on. I'm gonna put you in touch with my finance guy because the more you keep talking about this Bitcoin crap, the more it just sounds like I don't know, fucking millennial ghost currency. Yeah, no, you're living in a fantasy world, man. <laughs> All right, well, look, uh, it's really early, and I'm gonna just go ahead and go into the office and go fire some people. And uh, I know it's gonna be a great day. Uh, forgot to 
charge all the LED panel lights again. Sorry. Gotta remember to charge those up, man. Some fucked up shit might happen. Guess what? What? I just sent the seventh and final clip to Trenton. Finished editing it last night. Shit, we're fucking done. But fuck you, dude. No we're way. Done. Yes. Well, that sounds like it's time for a celebration. Minor. Something we need to do first. Okay. Get our fucking shit back from Stone. Right now? Today? As good a time as any. I say yes. Man. Maybe he did the unthinkable. One, two, three.
Oh, mothers, don't you fear, ain't gonna drop no bomb over here. Won't be a bang, won't be a boom, just a TV set in your living room. Coming in loud, it's coming in clear, coming like a freight train through your ear. What you gonna do now, what you gonna see when they take your boss, take your boss balls away? When they take your boss balls away. Mixtapes. This one's got a dick and a rainbow, man. I mean, somebody didn't get laid that weekend if he stole it. Absolutely. That's what, exactly what that is. What's that shit? To Christopher for Melody. Sounds like a whore. <laughs> Eat a dick. dick. We should have left this one in his office. We should have. <laughs> he, might, he might starve without the instructions. Oh, shit. Trenton's pen. He'll be happy about that. Oh, look, he was stealing candy from kids. All right. Avon Nova. That sounds scandalous. What do we do with all this shit? Except for the pen, of course. We need to keep that pen. I we should probably trade. burn it. Sheila? Yes, Mr. Stone? I think I'm going to take the rest of the day off. Yes, sir. I'll hold for it Hey, man. Hey, man. We need to talk. Oh, shit. Did he hate the footage? Not even close. Well, he... No, hold on. Hold on, man. Let me put you on speaker. All right, man. We're both on. He fucking loved what you guys did. Cool. So we get to shoot it. Talk twice. He liked your look. All of them. He wants you two for the leads of the final cut. Acting? Exactly. We're all real actors. Look, everybody is an actor at some point, are. and he wants you, which means I need you to do this. So what's the pay? One ten each plus residuals. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I needed to hear. I'll get y'all out here next month to start the shoot. Done, man. Yeah. Bar? Indeed. Hey, dear. Yeah. Bryce June Wood! <laughs> He's the Jairus champion again. Yes, he is. I really always hoped our luck would turn around, but I never even could possibly fucking think that we would be hired to go pretend to be actors in L.A. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Actors. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Oh, 110 yeah. grand. You can paint me paint and call me Susan. Yeah, let's go act. Let's do some. Yeah. Let's go do some acting. <laughs> let's, let's act. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. I'm gonna move next door to Danny Elfman. <laughs> I don't know if your 110 grand is gonna cover uh, what that would probably cost. No. I could be his pool boy. I could act like his pool boy. You could act like his pool boy. Yeah. Get an Airstream. Just park it on the street in front of his house. Yeah. Get a roast wieners. Yeah. Drink Fanta. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck we want. Watch Real Genius. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> Might even start a charity. Ooh. No. No? No. You can. Right. I'm, I'm not. Charity for assholes. I'm not going to do it. No. All right. Yeah, man. What? What, dude? I think I hear a Zufane playing somewhere. <laughs> Holy shit, is that Marcel? Sure as fuck is. What the fuck he doing? He's rocking our shit, man. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Maybe he's not so fucking terrible. <laughs> he just threw the fucking claw. Yeah. He really threw the fucking claw. Alright. I no longer hate that motherfucker. Yeah. Stupid. 
still don't like him. I'm, he's not on my favorites list, still but I no longer like hate him. Good job, Marcel. We, we can, can stop, stop the time, time so, so you, you can build the rise. rise. Then we, we take it to the beat so you can step your feet. What do you want, Stone? You took it all from me. I don't even know what you're talking about, man. One day, one day I will come out on top. Well, one thing's for sure. Today is not that day. Quit Stones, Brick Oven Tacos in Ottawa, Canada is a revelation, but not in a good way. Fusion cuisine? Italian and Mexican? What the fuck? What an idiot. And the result? Pure shit. <laughs> Quite frankly, there's not even a good picture of their food online to match how terrible the food's flavor is in reality. One star.